Hey guys, thanks for joining us for another episode. I apologize that I did not have an episode up last week. We just started homeschooling. Um, this is our very first time trying it. So last week was a very hectic week for us. Um, we finally got our schedule out. We kind of know it. And so we should be back on track. Should be good to go. So this week we are going to talk about fad diets. Everyone knows about fad diets. You have the Hollywood diet, Atkins diet, military diet, all kinds of these diets being thrown at you. If it's got a name to it, it's probably a fad diet. So we're gonna talk about it today and get some things out of the way where fad diets are concerned. So one of the things that you really need to check for is if it claims to lose weight in a very short amount of time. If it says that you're going to lose 10 pounds in two days, it's going to be bad for you. If it says that you can lose 20 pounds in two weeks, it's going to be bad for you. You have to remember that it takes time to lose weight. It takes time to develop healthy eating habits. Um, so another thing you need to do is make sure it does not limit your food choices. So if there is a specific diet that limits your food choices, you're probably gonna wanna steer clear of it because you are not going to have the balanced nutrition you need, getting all those vitamins and minerals that your body needs to actually get healthy with. Um, so another thing is if it requires you to spend a lot of money in advance, pills, shakes, those kinds of things, if it's gonna require you to spend a lot of money or sign up for something, it is probably not going to be as effective in the long run. So I know that um, a lot of people, they really want a fast, quick solution, and there isn't really a super fast, quick solution. The fastest thing that you can do is eat right, eat healthy, um, eat breakfast every day, get a variety of foods so that you make sure you're getting your proper nutrition, everything that you need. Um, Watch the fats that you consume. Don't be eating trans fats, which are partially hydrogenated oils. Um, and you find it a lot in fried foods, baked goods, things like that. Um, also, watch your serving size. It sounds so silly. Check your nutrition labels. Check the serving size. Get your measuring cups out and actually measure it out. Um, because a lot of people think, oh, this is one cup, eyeball it, and it's not. And they end up overeating more calories than they thought they were getting. Um, also, be more active. Uh, a lot of people don't realize that even if you're eating right, your activity level can hurt or help your weight loss or getting healthy. Um, even though eating right is one of the most important things you can do when you're trying to lose weight, being active is also extremely important and they kind of work well together. Another thing you need to do is make sure that you're talking to your doctor about these things. So if you find a diet online and it's promising the world and rainbows and monkeys that will do your dishes for you, you should talk to your doctor to see if it's actually going to be good for you. If you have a fitness instructor, if you have a dietitian, talk to them too. See what they have to say about it because you don't want to fall into a fad diet that promises the world, lose weight temporarily, and then go back to your normal eating style and then gain all of that weight and probably more back. Which is what typically happens when you start a fad diet. It works for a very short amount of time and once you start eating normally again, you gain all that weight back and nobody wants that. It's depressing. It really kind of demotivates you and that's not anything you ever so, want. In short, if it claims to lose weight very quickly, limits your food intake, and requires you to spend a lot of money, it's probably something that you're going to want to steer clear of. Eat breakfast every day, eat a variety of different foods, good foods, eat the rainbow, which is one of the things we talked about in our nutrition class yesterday, and keep in contact with your doctor. Make sure you guys are on the same page. So that actually brings me to our challenge for this week, which is the 15 minute timer challenge. Once again, serving sizes, super important. Check your serving sizes. If your nutrition label doesn't have it, if it's a fresh food like chicken or fresh vegetables, get onto Google. Google, 
how many calorie or how much is a serving of chicken? How much is a serving of celery? Take that. Get your measuring cups out and measure it out. Put it on your plate and eat your food. Make sure you're putting down your fork between bites so that you're not eating too fast. You want to give your brain and your stomach an opportunity to communicate with each other to let each other know when you're full. After your food is done, set your timer for 15 minutes and then wait. Once that timer goes off, if you still feel hungry, go ahead and go back for maybe another half of half or a quarter of a serving. And so that way you're not overeating and you've given your body an opportunity to realize that it is full. That's it for today, guys. And I will hopefully have a video up next week of improper exercise moves. This is super important. It's something I am seeing constantly and I want to get that one out of the way. So that's it for today. Bye y'all.